So a lot of people are talking about this new, uh, newly unveiled Amazon Prime Air delivery service. Um, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos was recently on 60 Minutes. He talked about uh, this program that, that could be available as early as 2015, maybe 2018 is a, a more likely date, but um, with this, you could deliver, or Amazon could deliver small packages up to five pounds within a 10 mile radius of their fulfillment centers. Um, what's your idea, what are your thoughts about this? I mean, is it, is it a lawsuit waiting to happen? <laughs> is it a good idea? I mean, what? I, I think it's kind of unrealistic. I think it's a fascinating idea, and I think Amazon is probably just kind of drum up some marketing and some PR mm -hmm. news out there. Um, one of the biggest things that I think is gonna be a big issue for them is FAA regulations. I mean, they're, it's a flying vehicle, so they're going to have to travel under certain paths. They're going to have to comply with rules. So that's something that, right there, is a huge obstacle. And, to but it. Be so Bezos did say that there, that's why it couldn't happen before 2015. Is they yeah. are working with the FAA to they determine are, yeah. that. Yeah. So it's not insurmountable, it's presumably. True. But there's, there's. I mean, uh, to kind of speak to your point, right now, as the as the regulations are written, uh, there is a prohibition on. Uh, autonomous flying vehicles mm -hmm. so there has to be a human in charge right, mm -hmm. right now as it's as it's written so yeah. that's probably why you know that uh, that he specified that that they're working with them to maybe change that or alter that whether or not that's a good idea I'm not so sure I mean if we want you know dozens or hundreds of these things flying around um, Our streets. That, yeah, I mean, there's there's legal issues. Sure. There's you know probably um, privacy issues, ethical issues, yeah. privacy safety, issues, safety, problems. safety issues. There's I also mean, some are, rather techn you, know. you know technological hurdles that mm -hmm. that are not really being talked about mm -hmm. yet. Batteries. Okay, we don't have batteries are not capable of flying for that long. So well, that's going to be a huge issue. The battery technology is not where it needs to be. So Don't. so the drone is going to take its package, deliver it and in 30 minutes and then come back and then it's going to have to have its battery replaced At, pretty uh, much. Charge, yes. It's going to be yeah. very expensive. And that's very the thing expensive. is how many people are actually going to want to use this technology for something that I mean how often you need something that quickly like that you're already with Amazon. Amazon. Like yeah. oh a last minute yeah. gift idea, something yeah. quick. Uh, but how often and, or, and, and how you know. and how much worth it is it to you? You know like you're going to pay If you can wait a day for, you know, pay for next Day shipping for fifteen dollars, or you're going to have to pay thirty dollars for this thing, unless you need it immediately, right then and there. I wonder how many people are going to take advantage of it. It's a novelty. Geeks, they're yeah. But you know, it's also an indication of just how far we've developed or mm -hmm. taken care of in distribution. The distribution cycle keeps getting shorter and shorter mm -hmm. and shorter throughout the the number of years. It used to be four to six weeks for delivery. Now you've got two days, and now you're talking 30 yeah. minutes. So. Four to six weeks, well, that's so. That was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's when that's that. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, a long time ago, yeah. and now it's yeah. in a couple of days. So, I mean, yeah. I, I have to applaud Bezos for keeping going Absolutely. that right. trend of let's mm -hmm. see how much we can reduce the inefficiency, the time waste out of the distribution But side. I think it's a publicity. I mean, this is, we're on the forefront of technology, of distribution. We're always going to be leading the way. Yeah. In some ways, at this stage, again, because of all the hurdles, regulatory, technological, privacy, to me, in my mind, he's really just, this is really just a way to publicize his company and show that, hey, we're way ahead we're of thinking, everyone else. Well, no one's going to catch us. It's either to publicize the company or it's either to set the stage for people to become comfortable with this idea of mm -hmm. having all of this mm -hmm. stuff flying around mm -hmm. because there's going to be a human factor mm -hmm. here where yeah. people are like what the heck is that and mm -hmm. what's it doing and, and is it watching me or is it delivering yeah. something I'm going to shoot there's parts of the country where they're, they're going to shoot the thing shoot. down yeah, exactly. or maybe there's a new train in my sky. <laughs> the new train yeah. bandits you yeah. shoot <laughs> it down and see what's in there and maybe yeah. you, you know well that's the thing I mean will people try and steal you know can, can people will. hack into those things and sure. get them to land on their yard instead of their sure. neighbor's yard and it, it, there there are issues that are logistical like that that yeah. will have to be overcome and I think people are going to be afraid of a lot of it. And, and I think that's will the, the biggest will the, problem. Will the drones have lasers to shoot back at like the 12 year old <laughs> kids who are throwing <laughs> rocks at them? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a, a really that's a very interesting, interesting development. development. Based on GPS point. technology, so how many of us have been in our car listening to our GPS mm -hmm. steer us into God knows where, right? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. wanting to like kill the automated mm -hmm. voice who keeps recalculating because but, we're but going the wrong other, way. On the other hand, you've got like the whole Google. Uh, car project in right. the you know the self-driven car mm -hmm. I mean think think in two or three or four or five years how much 
more advanced that will be. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure there's some trickle down effect where they can use some of that technology sure. for these drones. Mm-hmm. I mean, because again, Probably. if you have several of them in the mm-hmm. same region, let's say coming out of the distribution center, mm-hmm. they're going to have to avoid each other. It's not yeah. just oh, go from here to here. I mean, they've got that that software uh, out there, uh, you know, now because there's there's uh, there's quite a few warehouses that that use something like that that have these robots that are just That's kind of all point. over the place, and mm-hmm. it looks it, to to an outside observer, it looks completely random. But it's yeah. all I mean, there's all there's algorithms that are mm-hmm. know exactly where each robot is and mm-hmm. where it's going to move so they don't sure. collide, and so that. I guess the kind of software uh, algorithm background is probably worked out. Mm-hmm. It yeah. just needs to be implemented on flying, you know, vehicles yeah. now. So that's you know. That's well, actually, cool. they're already testing programs like this. There's one in China, and there's one in Australia right now where they're actually testing it already. Yeah. So you know, Amazon may not, may have not actually technically been the first to but introduce they're just the one concept, the sure. but they're certainly the biggest, and they're certainly going to get the most attention. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I know there's a lot of privacy concerns. A lot of people, you know. Neighbors could be spying on other neighbors by <laughs> floating. We've already got that. You can buy drones at, yeah. you know, at the mall. Yeah. yeah you so buy little insect drones. Yeah. 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 The, we got the government doing that. Put a GoPro that, on it. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Mm-hmm. But there's a watchdog organization already keeping an eye on all this because they're already, you know, very concerned mm-hmm. about possible privacy infringements. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it evolves. But there's so many different issues that have to come. A long ways mm-hmm. before yeah. this is ever. Yeah. I think practical. 2018 or later is probably more the realistic. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, kids, get your uh, slingshots ready for the uh, launch of the drones in just a few years. Until then, check out our other videos online at designworldonline.com and click on our video channel. Thanks for joining us.